welcome back to a new video. And this is about the 1950s blouse I started in the first sewing or costume diary I did. I started two projects, one is the chemise, which I already made a video about, if you haven't seen it, check it out. And the other project I started is a blue 1950s cotton blouse, and in this video I'm going to finish that as well. If you haven't seen the video where I started this, I highly recommend watching it, I will link it up here, or here, I don't know. And in the first video I did a pattern and made a mock-up, fitted a pattern and started with the assembly and also I showed a little bit about the fabric because it has a decorative border around it and talked a little bit about the pattern placement. In this video I'm going to finish the assembly, finish all the seams up, uh, set in the sleeves, make the facings and hem it obviously. And I really hope you will enjoy watching that video. So let's get started. As I said yesterday evening, I spent my hour sewing and this is what happened. <laughs> uh, I sewed the darts, I sewed exactly what I planned, I sewed the darts, I sewed the center back, the shoulder seams and the side seams. And I made sure that the border matches on the side. Well, it doesn't match completely. Well, that was a fail, but it matches pretty well. Uh, here it matches completely. I should have shown you just that set. Oh, even the flower matches. Never mind. Um, also made the back seam. And I tried it on and I can actually fit it over my head. Just as it is. So this is great. I don't have to have a button closure in the back, which is really, really great. Because I didn't want to do buttonholes. <laughs> and yeah. So now what I'm going to do, if I have time, I'm going to finish off the insides with my serger. I already bought the fitting yarn for that and yeah, when I have time I'm going to do this and then I can set in the sleeves. And speaking of the sleeves, I already sewed the sleeve seam shut so I can actually uh, finish it with my serger as well. And then I can set it in. Okay, it's been some time since my last update, mainly because I had a little bit of a sewing down. Uh, but then me and a friend made some pictures from my Rococo Georgian gown and now my sewing morals are up again. <laughs> so what I did yesterday evening was working again on this blouse and I did the facing. As of, so first of all I I uh, finished all the seams with my serger, which was a pain as always. And then I added in the facing, I just sewed this right side. Don't wonder, that's just my iron. I sewed this right side to right side, then flipped it over and sewed it down by hand here on the back seam, as well as on the shoulder seam. You don't have to believe me on that. And I also made a few almost invisible stitches here so it doesn't flap up when it's worn and now I'm hemming this and I'm also hemming the sleeves which are here and then I'm going to set the sleeves in and I decided to hem it first because the sleeves are very short and it's just a little bit of an awkward angle to uh, hem it and I'm sure that this will fit and I'm sure that that hem will fit so I think I can hem it now when it's a little bit easier. And then I'm going to install the sleeves. And I had a really stupid idea concerning that. Because it's 19, late 1950s, early 1960s, uh, I want something that looks vaguely vintage as a bottom for that. And I don't have anything, I just have black. For a long time I really wanted a white skirt to wear with all the things that I don't want to wear with black. So, I know a white skirt is probably an insanely stupid idea, but I think like a nice tight skirt out of some like cotton sateen or maybe a twill would be really nice. And I have some buttons that I wanted to use in that blouse and they're rather small but maybe it looks well with a skirt and maybe I'm gonna add them to the skirt. Which would make this thing go a little bit slower than I expected. 
Um, but alas, I had a finished costume, like finished whole outfit. That would be nice too. So yeah, this is my plan for that. And now the iron is ready and I'm going to re-iron this bit here and then I'm gonna hem it. All ironed over. This took a little bit longer than I thought. So probably not going to sort this this morning and I'm going to work maybe this evening or something. I have enough time to think if I want to sew this by machine because it might interrupt the pattern a little bit. Or if I'm going to sew this by hand, which isn't... I'm not quite sure yet. I'm going to think about that at work and come back to it in the evening. Two days later and I just sewed the hemline on the sleeves as well as on the top itself. And I decided to stitch it with machine. Because it is just quick and I really want to finish this. I don't love it because I thought this will work out in that length, but it would have been better like being half a centimeter up. So it is only on the blue and doesn't stitch through the tops of the flowers. But yeah, the problem is I didn't have enough seam allowance for that actually. Um, I calculated going from this line right here. So I didn't have enough seam allowance to evenly space it here. So yeah, that's unfortunate, but I'm going to set in the sleeves and I'm going to finish the sleeves and then this thing will be done, except for my labor, which will go in at the back with some hand stitching probably. I just set in the sleeves, which means that this game it is, except for searching this, completely finished. And it fits very well, setting in the sleeves took Quite a bit. Well, not too long actually. I sat there like 45 minutes or something, so it was rather quick. I didn't have to rip out too much, it worked quite well. And I'm gonna turn it inside out and show you what the whole thing looks like. Hello, we have a finished piece. I really like it actually, I really really like it. It looks really weird lying here on the floor, but I swear it fits me. And you will probably see I might add in some photos or maybe a clip where I wear it. Let's see. Yeah, I really like it. And as I told you, now I'm going to work on the skirt. After I have put all the finishing touches on it. That will go with this so I have a full 1950s, 60s style ensemble. And also, the silk ribbon I ordered from AliExpress came. This is the second smallest one and... Well, it was on a roll, but it fell down and then everything, yeah, like, you know, like, no, that's the smallest. Okay, that's the smallest, that's the second smallest, and that is the widest. And I'm gonna use the two other ones for silk flowers, right here. This I will use for any other historical garments. And I ordered them, and I ordered them in white. First of all, it seemed to be a little bit cheaper ordering just the plain white ones. And I can custom dye them. I have some silk dye. Just like the one you use for silk painting and you don't need to fix it, if I remember correctly. So I can just paint this in custom colors. I just put the final touch on the blouse, which is my own label. And I also finished the sleeve seams, which is less exciting than my label. I ordered those a while ago and now they're going into all the things I make because I love it so much. It just looks so much more professional. I don't know why. And they were pretty cheap too, so whatever makes you happy, right? Uh, now I'm gonna try it on and I'm gonna show you how it looks like worn. I realized that I don't have to make a video of wearing this blouse if I put it on a dress form. Because you can see very well how it looks here. And it looks very chic with this necklace that does not fit at all to the blouse. Uh, this is, I don't know if I told you, but this is something I made for as a tryout for my necklace for the Rococo Sun Front Gown. And I wanted to try it because, well, I had these beads laying around and looking at all necklaces and companies that sell like um, this kind of historical necklaces that usually just have a ring here and then they bind it together with some sort of band and I bought a sateen band. That's just my iron over there, if you hear that noise. Uh, it's just with a sateen band 
tied together in the back. And I wanted to try that out before I do it on the actual necklace and had those green beads lying around. I don't know, for some costume they will be useful. And it's extremely pretty, I have to say that. But never mind, that's the blouse worn. And that's it. Oh, sorry, there's a case over here. And that's it from the back. So you can see it looks much better this way than lying flat on the floor. It looked kind of weird. But having the shoulders and everything, it looks, you can see it, it looks as decent as I described it, hopefully. Now I'm working on something completely different, not costume related, not garment making related in any way. But in our living room we have a window in the ceiling and we have about 36 degrees outside. And it's hot, it's extremely hot and we don't have any shields there or anything. So I decided that I will make some sort of cover with this fabric here. This is a cotton canvas fabric with a tiny stripe pattern. And I decided to make like some sort of, of cover that you can pull over the window so it's a little bit shielded from the sun and it won't get as hot in the living room. So I really hope you enjoyed this video and as you know, if you do, consider subscribing to my channel. If you haven't already, give me a like and maybe leave a comment if you have something to say. And I'll see you in the next video, whatever that will be about. Have a good week and keep sewing.